Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. <coughs> I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT Review, the official guide. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You will find it at MBA.com. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 177, problem solving number 184. Let's take a look at it. It's important that you have the book in front of you so that you can follow the work and you can read the problem on your own. It says that if two digit number, if two digits integer M and N are positive and they have the same digits but in reverse order. So we have two integers, one they are calling M and the other one is calling their N they have the same digits, they are two digit integers, they have the same digits but in reverse order. For example, if M happens to be AB, then N would be BA. For example, if M is 81, then N would be 18. If the other one is 39, this one would be 93, and so on and so forth. The question simply is, which of the following cannot be the sum of M and N? When you add up the integer M and N, out of these five answer choices, one cannot possibly be the sum of these two integers. So our job is to locate the one that cannot be the sum. In other words, there are four that can be the sum. All right. I'm going to I'm going to start with the simplest one first. Let's start with the bottom here, the simplest one, which is e. Would 44 be the sum of these digits? There is an integer m and there is an integer n. When you add them up. Can their, can their unit digits and their 10 digit add up to 44? The answer of course is yes. It's very simple, which is just simply think of 31 and 13. If you add up 31 and 13, so this is our M, this is our N. When you add them up, they add up to 44. And the question simply was, which of the following cannot be the sum? Since 44, we just showed here, could be the sum of M and N. It's not the answer. Let's move on to D. D says 99. Could 99, could 99 be the sum of the so sum of the digits? Let's start systematically. I'm going to start with the 2 and 7. Let's see, 2, 7, 7, 2. They, they add up to 9 very easily. So now I'm going to put 3 in the 10 digit. 3, 6, 4, 5. And then there is no point right, there is no point in writing 5, 4, because 5, 4 would actually come over here. And then the sixth digit will come over here in the in the in the tenth place and so forth. So there are three possibilities. There are three possibilities where the sum of the digits could be 99, 2772, 3663, There are many possibilities. Let's look at C. Ah, C is a little bit tricky. C is a little bit tricky. Now we are running into 121. What you have to understand is that the sum of the digits, some of the unit digits that is cannot simply be 1. In other words, now we are dealing with a scenario where if you were to add up the unit digits, it's going to be more than 10. For example here, this 2 that actually, actually represents is some of the unit digits being 11 and some of the 10 digits being 11. If the sum of the unit digits is 11, then you're going to add up the unit digits, you're going to carry 1 and that carry 1 will make the 10 digits, which is also is 11, will become 12, the sum. So can you think of a scenario where the sum of the two digits might be might be 11? Obviously, it cannot, we cannot start with 1 because you cannot have 1 and 10 because 10 is not a digit. So we have to start with 2. 2, 9, 3, 3, 8, 4, 7, 5, 6. And then if I continue, the next one will be 6, 5, but there is no point in writing 6, 5 because 6, 5 will actually go here. 6, 5, 7, 4, 8, 3, and 9, 2. You see there are four possibilities. There are four possibilities where n might be 29, n might be 92, and so on and so forth. So that is possible. Let's look at D. Or rather B. The B says 165. B says 165. Same thing. Here, the sum of the unit digit is not going to be 5, because if the sum of the unit digit would be, if, if for 5, for example, 23 and 32, 
Yes, you're right. We, we do get a 5 here, but then the 10 digit is not going to add up to 16. That tells me that the sum of the unit is, the scenario that we're dealing with here is again the same scenario as in C where sum of the unit digit is more than 10. How can I break it up so that I can have, uh, when, I, when I carry over, since I'm carrying over, this originally must have been 5 and you carry over it becomes 6, just like here. This originally was 11, when I carry over it becomes 2. So what we're dealing with here is a scenario where sum of the unit digit is 15 and sum of the 10 digit is 15. For example, since I'm dealing with 15, again I'm going to, I can't stop at 2, I can't stop at 2 because you cannot have 2 and 13. I can't stop at 3, you can't have 3 and 12. 4 and 11, no. 5 and 10, no. So the only possibility is to start with 6. 6 and 9, 7 and 8. That's it. Those are the only two possibilities. I was putting these, it doesn't matter whether you put them in a unit digit or 10 digit, it doesn't work because you cannot have one of, one of, the, dig, one of the digits cannot be 2 if their sum is 15. Because if one digit is 2, the other one will have to be 13. There is no such thing. We need a digit means just one digit. So this is too small. The only possibilities are 6 and 9 and 7 and 8. So you can have 69 plus 96 or 78 and 87. They will both add up to 165. You see, you'll have 5, carry 1, 165, same thing here. So that works. B could be the sum of the integers M and N. Let's look finally, let's finally look at A. A says, 181. 181. Again, you see, since it, since it ends in 1, it tells me that the sum of the unit digit has to be 11. Sum of the unit digits can never be more than 18. That 18 is the most you can have, where they are both 9 and 9. So, 11 is the only possibility here. There is no such thing as considering 21. It doesn't exist. The most any given digits can add up to in a two number situation when you're adding two numbers is 18 that's it because the sum of the m and n here is 1 uh, ends in 1 it tells me the number has to be 11 and as I said before already the sum of the unit digits of two numbers can never be more than 18 the most they can be is 9 and 9 so that's not possible they have to add up to 11, and if they add up to 11, we are dealing with this situation here, see? That is not possible. Since, since, the sum of the unit digit of Two numbers can never since the sum of the unit digits can never unit digits of two numbers can never be more than 18 so 21 is not possible uh, there will be silly to talk about it they have they have to add up to 8 11 well the only way they can add up to 11 is what we saw in C these are the possibilities for 11. As you can see, it's going to only add up to 121. 181 is not possible. Therefore, that is the answer. The question was which of the following cannot be. The answer is A. A cannot be. Let me put some lines around these things so you can keep them separate. This, this part was E. Right here was E. That was the end of that. Right here is D. In case you want to pause the screen and look at it, that is your C. This is your D here, or B rather, and A is the answer. That's it. 181 cannot be the sum of the two integers where their digits are the same but in reverse order. It's not possible. It has to end in 11. If it ends in 11, we're looking at this scenario. If it ended in 11, what we'll end up is 121. 181 is not possible. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to buy my DVDs in which I show you the solutions to all the math problems for GMAT, all 400 of them, 
or if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, I'm located in Connecticut. In either case, send me an email. Go to my website at www.preppreprep4gmat.com -E and send me an email. Alright? Thank you.